Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So I hope you're well Aquarius and Happy New Year. I hope you have a lovely time. Okay, so... I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius. I'm doing a mini reading this week because it's like, like many people, it's just been one of those hectic weeks for me between Christmas and New Year. But nevertheless, I wanted to get something out. It won't resonate with everybody, so just tell you what resonates with you. And if it's meant to resonate for you, it still will. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is your challenge. The second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we'll pull an oracle card at the end and clarify where we need to. So the challenge is the Page of Cups. The Knight of Swords is advice from spirit. And the Temperance card is your outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. So cards on the table, we have Gemini and Sagittarius. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords, please. Okay. So we have the Hanged Man and the Four of Cups. It feels it's... Um, this Page of Cups is, is offering you something. You know, the page can be about to do with a loving offer, can be a peace offering. Feels in this situation it's something to do with that, an apology, a peace offering. Um, can be an offer of love as well, or a loving offer, or a loving message. It's from the heart energy. You know, the Page of Cups. It's an uplifting energy as well. It's a very innocent energy, you know. Um, said with good, good intent. But it, it definitely feels for some of you there's some kind of, of apology. I mean, it could be to do with a child. Um, it could be a loved one, you know, somebody wanting to make peace in a situation. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy here, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords with the advice of spirit. Sometimes this can be some information that's come to light or news or truth can be to do with a conversation as well. But, you know, generally the night represents progress, swift progress in a situation. Um, but it might well be that somebody is communicating to you, starting up a conversation. It could be to do with what this Page of Cups represents. It feels in this situation, someone wants to it feels like someone wants to deal with something, make progress in a situation, bring positive change to a situation. That's what the Knights represent, change. Um, and there may well be an important conversation here, Aquarius, that somebody wants to have. Because temperance is a card of, of making peace. Um, in this situation, it is reconciling differences, making peace, finding the middle, middle ground, um, sometimes compromise for me as a reader, um, but it's, it's finding the solution, finding the middle ground through opposing extremes, opposing views. For example, this can be about you might have one view in a situation, somebody else might have a completely opposite one. And it's almost kind of like finding that balance, the way through this situation and how you bring progress. It, it feels like, I mean, this can be a reconciliation, a reconciliation energy. 
It can be the blending of extreme forces that bring balance back to a situation and allow you to find your flow again. So there's definitely an energy of restoring balance, finding your flow, making peace with somebody, finding a solution, compromise to a situation. So I definitely get that energy. And then we have this Eight of Swords, which can be about negative thinking. You know, sometimes I, I see this as a fortress energy, somebody putting up barriers, barriers of the mind, blocking somebody, not wanting to speak to somebody, not wanting to talk about it. I mean, it might not well be that kind of energy. It can be about inhibited thinking. Um, it's not a very receptive energy, the Eight of Swords. And again, the Hanged Man is asking you to look at something in a different way. So the way that you're viewing this situation or somebody's viewing this situation might not necessarily be you. It, there's an energy of something needs to be looked at in a different way in order to release from something that seems to be encaging you, keeping you stuck in some kind of negative energy or negative perception of somebody. It's almost kind of like that's what the hanged man is asking you to do, look at something in a different way. Because this is the Divine Nudge card, the Four of Cups. And I feel it's linking with this Page of Cups. This offer, this loving message or offer, or peace offering. What I, and I definitely feel it's some kind of peace offering here. Somebody wants to make peace. This is an opportunity not to be missed. It's the Divine Nudge card saying, you need to take this very seriously now. You need to look at something or someone in a different way. Open your mind. View how this is going to unfold. Because for some of you, this cup is, it feels very genuine because it feels like this cup is reinforced by the hand of God the Divine. So it feels like someone is genuinely sorry or genuinely wants to make peace and it's from the heart energy. So this is about you listening to your heart as well and allowing it to guide you forward. And that's what Spirit is asking you to do. Don't make this decision with your mind with your perception because that will only keep you stuck and put up blocks there's definitely an energy the decision needs to be made from the heart and your heart knows the way and generally the heart leads the mind not the other way around so interesting energy there Aquarius but it feels poignant for somebody but I love the temperance energy because it's just how we find our flow a positive energy, you know, we bring balance back and it feels good. It's a real feel-good energy temperance. Okay. So final message. Yeah, we have frog. Stepping into your power. Don't sit, don't take a back seat in your sto in your story. It's time to step up. It might well be a situation needs to be dealt with, taken control of. Um, but I definitely feel in this energy, there is some communication here, a gift, uh, a message, somebody wants to make peace. And this is definitely an energy of don't miss this opportunity. You need to look at something in a different way. And it feels like it's from the heart, not the mind, that you need to make this decision from. Love the energy, Aquarius, very much. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful Happy New Year and I will see you next time. Thank you.